Hey, how's it going? And today we're taking a relatively quick look at the new Pro Tools in Lightwave 2023. This was formerly known as OD Tools, which used to be a suite of tools that was available for private purchase. I think it was roughly two or three hundred dollars for the whole suite of tools, and it is a mind-boggling array of tools and assets. What's interesting about this, and I've talked about this before, about the similarities between Vegas Pro and Lightwave. They both share very similar stories, but there's a plugin for Vegas Pro called Vegasaur, and that's kind of what Pro Tools reminds me for Lightwave. It's basically a lot of kind of things that are automated, a lot of shortcuts. So you can really think of it as a productivity tool. And then it also fills in gaps where there's things that you kind of wish Lightwave did that it didn't but then Pro Tools does it, so it's fantastic. It's the only thing is that it's a little overwhelming. It's like getting hit by a 20-foot wave on the beach. It's just, and that's what I found. I had actually purchased the tools originally. There was just so many of them that I just found myself using two or three of them. But once you find a few that really come in handy, the tool more than pays for itself. The only issue that I'm noticing right now, and I, I understand that Lightwave is just implemented, the OD tools into Lightwave that there's some of the plugins that don't seem like they're working. So that's unfortunate, but hopefully that they'll all be working soon. I can give you an example of one of those. So one thing I want to show you is I just did a tutorial on how to install this plugin and that's fairly easy. So I'll link to that tutorial in the description. But when it comes in and it's installed, you put it on a tab and it's over here and I'm finding all these little windows kind of hard to to get to like this is this is more difficult to kind of navigate but the saving grace is that once you identify the tools that you're looking for lightwave has something called a shortcut called control space and if you just open this up you can easily search for the tool much faster so I'm going to just give you a couple tools that I've found so far. Super simple tools that I've found so far that i found very handy. Now one thing is, I just have a cube here in the scene. And let me just move this up. But let's say I had it over here and, or maybe up more really. One thing that always bothered me about, and this goes right to the heart of OD tools, is that layout did not have the F3 command, which was rest on ground. So that's where Pro Tools comes in. It does have rest on ground now. So, but rather than going through here and trying to find it, just hit control space, search for rest on ground, and there it is. And so as soon as I click it and go, okay, it rests the object on the ground. I think you could look through this one just to kind of find out what the tools are. But then once you find out what tools are really helping your productivity, then I would search for them with control, control space. So let's see if I can find this one called Magica. Cause I, I didn't know anything about this. So here's one of the tools that I think, I think could be fantastic for Lightwave and just shows how well Lightwave plays with others. But you go Magica Voxels. I actually da just downloaded this program. So if I come into my downloads, Magica Voxels Vox and click on Castle Vox. And I don't know any other program that opens these .vox files and go open, go okay. Unfortunately, I get an error. So hopefully that will be resolved in the next version of Lightwave. So, but I understand it's a daunting array of tools, but it's not just that one. There's other ones too, where I get, unfortunately I'm getting errors with some of these tools. And so some of them seem to work just fine. Others still aren't quite working. I would search for them here initially, but once I knew what they were, I would just go control space to get to it much faster. So there's one called camera to, I think it's called item to camera position. Here's another one that's kind of handy. And you'll see how fast this can improve your productivity. You click on that, it automatically puts it into camera position. So if I go to camera view, the item's right there straight on. 
So it's just a lot of nifty productivity tools. I just hope that Lightwave Digital can get up to speed and get some of them up and running because some of them are really fantastic. So anyway, that's all I had for today. I hope you found this helpful. Take care. Have a great day. And I'll talk to you next time.